Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's episode will be uh, part 7 in our Pi Game with Python tutorial series where we're learning to build a video game from scratch. And if you haven't been following along with this series so far, um, what we've done is we've built a game where you're essentially controlling this orange rectangle player um, and trying to dodge a ball. And then we have uh, put in code for uh, collision detection for game over as well as uh, space for restart and high score tracking and previous score tracking. Um, so that's pretty cool. We've really got a playable game put together already and I recommend go ahead and check out those previous episodes uh, if you haven't seen that. But if you're just here for the concepts in this video, we'll be looking at uh, making a progressively more difficult game as your score advances. So the way the scoring works in this game is when the ball collides with a wall, um, we, um, we add one to the score every time. And what we want to do is make it to where the ball also speeds up after a certain uh, score. So what we'll do is we'll go down into our game loop and we'll create a new function which I'm going to call check difficulty. Okay, And let's go ahead and create this function and what we're going to do is be constantly running this um, and checking uh, F check difficulty and we'll be checking inside this function to see if the score has gone high enough that we should increment the uh, the speed so a few variables that we're going to need so I'm going to go ahead and make them global we're going to need to check against the total score and we're going to need to check uh, we're going to need to modify the circle X and circle Y direction because those are um, those are our total speeds so uh, I'm gonna create a few local variables in here that I'm gonna call xmod um, I'll put an R score in there so this is a modifier in the X direction and just so that we don't change it exactly uniformly um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that score uh, floor division by 9 when you're dealing with stuff that has to be integers it's best to use that double division that's floor division and that means it'll round down to the nearest whole integer. So I'll do X mod and then I'll do Y mod and for this one we'll do score divided by 10 just so they're a little bit different when you start getting up into higher scores it'll change it by different things and that just kind of creates for a more fun game dynamic. You could make them the exact same thing uh, that's totally fine. So then what we're actually going to do for this code is we're going to start saying if the direction is positive right then our modifier is going to be um, circle x direction and actually it's going to be 4 which is what we made the initial x direction ball speed plus our x modifier that we just created um, so this is saying if it's positive get more positive by the x modifier and what we're going to do this should feel fairly intuitive is we're going to say if it's negative then it's going to be negative 4 minus the x modifier. So think about what we had previously was the direction, um, the change of direction made it either positive or negative, but the number stayed the same. So we want, uh, if it's moving to the right, we want to move to the right faster by this x mod. And if it's moving to the left, we want to move left faster by the x mod. So shouldn't be a surprise we're gonna do the exact same thing with the Y direction and again if you wanted to have them both increase in speed um, by the same amount you just wouldn't need a second modifier variable which is totally fine um, but then that should do it so actually this we made it five so we want it to be five plus or minus the Y modifier and um, now since we're calling that in the game loop we should be able to go ahead and run this and it might look a little um, funky it might be hard to tell I'll try to actually do well enough at the game we notice a difference but at 9 so there the at the X um, at, at 9 the X speed increases and then at 10 the Y speed increases so then oh, I didn't do very well <laughs> um, so you maybe noticed it pick up a little bit there, but you really start noticing after the speed's kind of increased by two or three. Um, so let's see if I can get a score 
a little bit higher or if you're following along with this tutorial on your own oh my gosh I'm so bad at this game if you're following along on your own it should be pretty apparent it can be a little hard to capture in the screen recording I'm sure um, just because the frame rate of the capture is only like 20 FPS so it might be a little hard to gauge exactly how fast this is uh, going um, but there actually you can probably see now like it's clearly picked up quite a bit of speed in um, both the X and Y direction the ball is really jumping around quite a lot um, so that's pretty cool I mean that's a pretty basic function that we put in um, just to uh, just to make the game progressively more difficult so you know if you get good at just controlling your guy and avoiding the ball at base speed there's really no way for you to run up the score now because the game eventually will become essentially un unwinnable um, and so if you're gonna like put a difficulty modifier on you could make this 9 or this 10 a variable as well and you can play around with these settings so if you're like well this is lame I want someone to be able to get to close to 100 or close to 200 you can just start ramping these variables up or down to make that speed increase faster or slower as you want and this is a pretty typical uh, function you could create for any modifier so if you wanted speed to increase if you want size to increase if you want color to increase you could just run a checker referring to um, you know your total score or whatever condition you want to check against to see if it's time to um, modify the game or not so that's a nice short video there we just um, increase the difficulty of the game as your score gets higher and that's uh, pretty cool so if you have any questions or comments on that or would have done it a different way go ahead and let me know in the comments below Otherwise, if you found this or any of the content on the channel helpful, I really appreciate a like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And as always, good luck with your code, and thanks for watching. Bye.